welcome back to Conversations with the CSUB Professor. Today we're talking to Dr. Leora Gupkin. She is a professor of religious studies and also the director of the Institute for Religion, Education, and Public Policy, also known as IREP. Um, Dr. Gupkin, please tell us about IREP and give us some information about it. Great. Thank you so much, Rebecca, for hosting these conversations and for inviting me to participate. I am excited to be here and happy to tell you a little bit about the Institute for Religion, Education, and Public Policy. And after that long title, we do call it IREP. So IREP was founded here at the School of Arts and Humanities in 2011 and has really developed as a institute on campus with a mission to help facilitate dialogue across difference to promote the common good. Mm -hmm. um, and we focus particularly on religious and worldview difference um, and have sort of programs for students, training for staff, and bring people in from the community all around that goal. Nice. Well, can you tell us what's going on with IREP this year? What sure. do you have to look forward to? Sure. So we have a great team. Our board includes faculty and staff and community members, but we also have a uh, faculty team that's working on a campus innovation grant this year that we received nice. from Interfaith Youth Corps, a national organization located in Chicago. And so uh, professors Jonathan Young and Katie Hansen in Religious Studies and Isabella Castlestrand in Sociology, who's located over at our Antelope Valley campus. Okay. Um, the four of us are working together on this fantastic grant called Can We Talk? Welcoming Religious Diversity and Building Pluralism on Campus. And so a lot of what we've been doing thus far is helping educate campus students, staff, and community members on this idea of worldview. Right, so we all come with so many different experiences mm -hmm. and various facets of our identity that make us who we are. Right? Mm -hmm. So, and part of that, you know, what makes us who we are mm -hmm. is the lens, the foundational values by which we view the world. And those can be uh, shaped by religion, they can be shaped by philosophical perspective, spiritual affiliation, right, lots of different ways. So, you know, as diversity is an important uh, value on campus, mm -hmm. religious diversity isn't always immediately part of the conversation. And so part of what we do is say, let's bring religious diversity into that conversation, um, nice. which includes the event that's happening uh, this Monday that we're very excited about. Oh, nice. So and me... when, do, when is that? The 18th? November yeah. 18th. Monday, okay. November 18th. Okay. And we are partnering with the Student Interfaith Organization on campus called Common Ground. Okay. So Common Ground is uh, hosting it, and IREP is helping to sponsor this panel that's called Women, Religion, and Empowerment. Ooh, nice. So it's 5 to 7 in the Stockdale room. Okay. And there's going to be a panel of women from our uh, larger community who are from Baha'i, and Judaism, eclectic witchcraft, Hinduism, and Islam. Oh, interesting. How fun is that? Yeah, I'm super excited. Yeah. It's an interesting mix of women, and you mm -hmm. know, they'll be telling us a little bit about how their religious traditions empower them. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then we have it set up like the, the panel's actually going to be on the shorter side, okay. and then they'll come and sit with us at various tables and help us who are there to have conversations oh, with each other. So it's very personal connection then. Mm -hmm. Not just a panel, but actually you get to talk to the people from the panel right. after you, the discussion. Exactly. Yeah. So they'll come and join the conversation so you get to talk with them and also talk with each other. Oh, that's wonderful. Right. So that's that's really part of our uh, our goal with IREP, right? Is mm -hmm. sort of helping model conversations, facilitate conversations. Yeah. Right? People think you don't talk about religion, <laughs> you don't talk about politics, politics right? right? Cardinal rules. Cardinal rules, so we're breaking those rules, yeah. right? And we're trying to help students and anyone else who wants wow. to, right, develop those skills, mm -hmm. right? In our increasingly diverse world, very much, very so true. important mm -hmm. to be able to recognize our own values, 
right? Exactly. And be able to communicate those in respectful ways mm -hmm. with pe people we may differ with. And then to see, well, where, even though we come from these different places, right, how are the ways that we can work together? Exactly. Great. And is this a free event? Anyone can attend? Absolutely. It is free, okay. open to the public, free parking, and there will be food. Okay. That's always a good <laughs> motivator. <laughs> And also in the description, I'll put in a link to this event with all the information and details. So everybody, hopefully, if you have time, you can come to this event. Okay, and then you are also um, had told me a little bit about some research that was done. And I think this is so interesting, and I think a lot of people could probably relate to this. So I was hoping you could tell us a little bit about that. Sure. You know, so on the one hand, like, it's wonderful. I think it's always great. Bring people together, give them food, have them talk. <laughs> right. right. But we're actually doing something that's grounded in some important social scientific research. So when we look at how um, sociologists of religion, particularly in the United States, how they measure religious diversity, yeah. right, they look at attitudes, relationships, and knowledge. So okay. if you've ever been surveyed by someone on this topic, they might ask you, like, do you feel warmly toward, or how warmly do you yeah. feel toward people who are Muslim or Hindu or evangelical mm -hmm. Christian? Right? Or they'll ask you, do you know someone or do you work with someone, right, to get at that relationships yeah. piece? Or they'll try and um, assess your kind of accurate positive knowledge about okay. you know basic facts about a religious tradition, your religious literacy, as mm -hmm. they call it. And what we found is that these measures are related, that there's a correlation, right? So if someone has an increase mm -hmm. in their positive attitudes toward a tradition, then they're likely to also have an increase in their attitudes in their relationships or in their positive knowledge. So um, Ibu Patel, who is the founder of Interfaith Youth Corps, uh -huh. he talks about this as the interfaith triangle, right? And so right. this, sort of based on this social scientific research, it gives us some tools, ways to enter into building interfaith capacity, right? The ability not just to recognize diversity, mm -hmm. but to mm -hmm. appreciate it, right? To work well with others, right? So using... So using that social scientific research mm -hmm. to really ground what our programming looks like okay. and even how to assess its effectiveness. That makes sense. So they also talk about the My Pal Al principle. Oh yes, I love this. Right? I think this is very important. So um, Grant and Putnam in their book American Grace, mm -hmm. they talk about this where if you know someone mm -hmm. who is from a different religious tradition, that you then end up generalizing from it. So my pal Al mm -hmm. is Hindu. And because my pal Al is Hindu, not only do I appreciate him, but I have an appreciation of other Hindus, Hinduism more generally, right? My right. perception of Hinduism increases my positive attitude toward it. Exactly. But what they found is that having positive relationships with others is then kind of gets generalized. So it's not just your positive relationship with Hindus, but then when you meet someone who's Muslim and you haven't known Muslims before, that experience of having a positive relationship with someone from one religious tradition you didn't know mm -hmm. gets generalized. And so I think that's just so exciting and gives such promise for the kind of work we're trying to do. I agree, and it's a, kind of like a ripple effect. It just keeps going out. Exactly. And extending to other people. Exactly. Those ripples that right. just go on out. <laughs> Love that. And then um, what opportunities are available for our students mm -hmm. um, with IRAP or the Interfaith? Sure. So we have several opportunities for students to engage. There is a student club. It's called Common Ground, and Common Ground and IREP often partner together on events. So for example, on November 18th, yes. mm -hmm. right? Uh, Professor Jonathan Young in Religious Studies, he is the faculty advisor for Common Ground. So anyone who's interested in this interfaith work and wants to participate can just contact him or contact me. Happy to get you connected with the student club. We are also offering a class, a special topics class for the first time in the oh, spring. Nice. So it's a one unit mm -hmm. class 
called Explorations in Leadership. Okay. So students who want to learn more about leadership opportunities throughout campus will be bringing in you know, faculty, staff, student leaders for them to learn more about the campus and how they can contribute yeah. their gifts to it. Um, oh. Then we'll be helping them identify like their own leadership style. Oh, we'll nice. focus some on interfaith leadership skills. Okay. And then it, the class will conclude with a project determined by the Ooh. students on some of our sustainability efforts on campus. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, is it only open for religious studies majors or any major? So it is a limited class. Okay. It's open to about 20 students. Um, it is by department consent, but it is really meant for um, any student, particularly in arts and humanities, <laughs> right? And we're, it's a 2000 level class. If you are a second semester freshman mm -hmm. or sophomore and you are like, I'm, I'm a burgeoning leader on this campus, okay. right? we're looking for you. Perfect. Oh, that's awesome. I guess I also want to talk about oh, a few yeah. other things. I got so excited about the class. <laughs> okay, very okay. excited about yes. this class. Yes. But we also have coming up in the spring, mm -hmm. um, one of the big things, and the class will be involved in this as well, it's called Better Together Days. So Better mm -hmm. Together Days is actually a national celebration of um, religious and worldview pluralism, right, where diverse groups are working together. Mm -hmm. And we've been celebrating Better Together Days on this campus for about the last three to four years. Um, last year we had a very exciting, we did speed faithing, we did oh, a fun. film, um, we had a, a resource fair of religious communities that came onto campus to share their stories with us. Um, so we'll be doing that again, a Better Together Day series of events, and that is February 17th through 21st. So you can mark your calendars now. Okay. There will certainly be more information following yes, as that, definitely. you know, as those details get nailed down. Um, and then every summer, the Interfaith Youth Corps hosts students and um, actually faculty and some staff from around the country at an Interfaith Leadership Institute. So it's an intensive weekend um, in Chicago. Great opportunity to go to Chicago. Yes. Uh, where you you meet people from across the country who are interested in this work and learning together and it just really motivates. We've sent now three different students uh, to the Interfaith Leadership Institute. IREP is very interested in helping support, send more students to it. They come back with so much enthusiasm and engaged and just oh, ready. Great know, experience. And it's a great oh. experience, a great experience, absolutely. Oh, that's wonderful. And we will definitely have all that information in the description. And then for the future events, we'll make sure that information is out on our social media sites so you'll be able to get the details. Um, did you have anything else that you wanted to add or talk about while you have the chance? I'm sure that I will think of a million things <laughs> right? that I wanted to say <laughs> oh, once this interview <laughs> ends. But for right now, yeah. I just really want to thank you for giving this opportunity. Okay. Thank you. I want to thank everybody who's viewing this. <laughs> and I hope to see you all on Monday, November 18th, or in February at Better Together Days. Um, and until then, be well. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Gupkin. Thank you so much. This thank has been you. great. And as she said, we'll have more information, and I hope you watch the video. <laughs> Thank you.